Hola, join me on Entrada as we visit Puebla, a city that has more churches than anywhere else in Mexico. In a place steeped in traditions, we'll visit a family-run bakery, track down the history of Talavera tiles, explore sacred art and architecture, and learn the secrets of Mole Poblano. Hola, I'm Rowana, and we're in Puebla, Mexico's Spanish city of tiles and colonial architecture. The state of Puebla is rich and sophisticated in its foods, traditions, and culture. It's also home to over 10,000 churches. Other than onyx and cotton textiles, Puebla is famous for its Talavera pottery and mole poblano. Let's take a look at the map and see where we are. Mexico forms North America's southern tail. Its capital, Mexico City, lies in the country's south-central highlands. To the southeast is Puebla, Mexico's fourth largest city. We'll explore Puebla's history, churches, and culture, visit a Talavera factory, and the Santa Rosa convent, the birthplace of mole. And of course, we'll cook mole poblano and discover its tasty ingredients. In the little village of Cholula, there's a famous market. This is where Puebla's finest cooks do their shopping. I'm meeting with chef Ana Elena to hunt for the ingredients for tonight's grand recipe, mole poblano, the pride of Puebla. They say there are as many kinds of mole as there are inventive chefs. Mole is a complex dish, and mole poblano is no exception. So we are here, here we are, in the stand, so we can buy all the things for the mole. How many ingredients does a mole have? Like 15, 17. 17? Yes. When? Okay. <laughs> okay. Let's just start with the peppers. So we need the chile mulato. Chile mulato, that's yes. black, right? Black, that means black. Yes. Black chili. And then we need the pasilla. Pasilla. Is, are these spicy? Yes, spicy and small. Not very spicy. Tiene chile ancho. Chile anchos. Anchos means ancho. wide. Bueno. Oh, they look very much like the mulatto. Yes, just the color is different. This is supposed to be red and this is black. Ah, so it's for the color. Yes, just for the color. Perfecto. So we need these three kinds of pepper. And then awesome. we need the raisins. Raisins. ¿Puedo probar? I love raisins. You want one? Yes, okay. Thank you. Mmm. Oh, they're so juicy and plump. Mmm. So raisins. Mm -hmm. What then else? Sesame seeds. Sesame seeds. We need the almonds. Almonds. Cinnamon. Cinnamon and you buy it whole and then you grind it? No. Just break blend. it. Break, yes. break it apart yes. and blend it. Yes. That's a true cinnamon stick. And then the coriander seed. Coriander seeds. Yes. This? Yes. You can smell it. I've never, I've never cooked with coriander seeds no. before. Oh, it smells great. This recipe is going to be fabulous. And that's it. Do we need anything else at all? Well, we need chocolate and we need anise and cloves and more things that we can start buying. Muy bien. Are we ready to buy some? Yes. Okay, yes, great. While Anna Elena heads to her kitchen, I'm off to a very special museum at the Santa Rosa Convent. My guide, Roberto, walks me through the high-ceilinged, echoing rooms. They're detailed with the gleaming Talavera tiles for which Puebla is famous. And I can't wait to see the kitchen. Roberto, it's precioso aquí. This is amazing. This is the kitchen where Mole was born. Many years ago, Sister Andrea was asked to make a special dish for the Viceroy of Spain. She spent weeks in her kitchen, finding the most exquisite and tasty ingredients, grinding them all together, and hence, 
the mole was born. It's that incredible, what an incredible story. The Viceroy loved the dish so much that he made a gift of these incredibly beautiful hand-decorated kitchen tiles, or so the story goes. The fact is, there are a lot of stories about the birth of mole. Mexico loves its myths as much as it loves its mole. Roberto, gracias para mostrarme este convento. Está precioso. This has been wonderful. Qué bueno que les haya gustado. Esperemos ver otras iglesias más. Te invitamos a conocer más iglesias bonitas como esta. Ah, sí? Así Qué bueno. Más. We've been invited to see more famous churches here in Puebla later with Roberto. Claro sí. que sí. Vamos. Qué bueno, gracias. Vamos, vamos. Claro que sí. Up next on Entrada, a family-run bakery cooks up sweet temptations. No trip to Puebla is complete without a visit to the sweet shop, and that's where I'm headed. Now this looks delicious. I think I'll have to get some of these. When you think Mexico, you think tortilla. But in fact, bakeries here are filled with a variety of sweet delights you'd imagine only in a Paris patisserie. Mouth-watering. Mexicans come to the bakery up to three times a day to make sure they have fresh bread and sweets in their home. I think taking some for tonight's meal is a perfect treat. This traditional family-run bakery is kept busy. Fast hands supply a never-ending demand of sweets of all shapes and sizes. European treats find their way onto the Mexican table. The history is fascinating. Of course, it was the Spanish conquistadors who brought them. But breads, sweets, and pastries didn't become the fashion here until a short French occupation of Mexico in the 1860s. And Mexicans didn't need much convincing to adopt the tasty tradition. Ana Elena in her beautiful traditionally Mexican kitchen where she's prepared the ingredients for the mole poblano. Hola Ana, ¿cómo estás? Hola, muy bien, ¿tú? Mm. The convent was beautiful. Yes. Can like. you believe the kitchen? It's amazing. Incredible. Amazing. And look at this kitchen. Do this you is, like? Yes, it's beautiful. This is authentic. Yes, it Just is. Just like the sauce that we're making. Right. Mole poblano. Fantastic. I see you've been very busy, yeah? A little. Yes. <laughs> very. <laughs> Que bueno. Now, I know that mole, I learned that mole in the Nahuatl language or Aztec language means uh, it's muelle, which is concoction, stew, mm -hmm. or sauce. Right. Which mm -hmm. is great. And then poblano means of Puebla, oh, right? From Puebla. Mm -hmm. So this is a sauce from Puebla that we're making today. And here are the ingredients. Okay. First the chiles. We have the pasilla. Mm -hmm. Then we have the mulato, the ancho, the seeds. There are the seeds from the chile the sesame seeds, the coriander seeds, mm -hmm. the cinnamon stick, the anise, and the cloves. Then we have the raisins, the almonds, the plantain, and the bread. And then the tomatoes, the garlic, sugar, and chocolate. This is going to be a delicious tasting sauce. I hope so. I hope you like it. <laughs> <laughs> bueno, what's the first step, Annalena? OK, first. You have to take out all the seeds mm -hmm. and stems of the chili. Great, so you remove the stems and the mm -hmm. seeds from the chilies. Mm -hmm. And then we're going to fry them in lard. Muy bien. So in a pan, a hot, yes, very hot very pan. very hot. Now, how long do you cook them for? Just until they change the color. So browning them. Yes, just browning, very fast. Very quickly. Mm -hmm. And then you transfer this to the boiling water. And you have to, to soften them? Yes, to soften, so it's going to be easy to blend them. Ah, oh, muy bien. And you're also mm -hmm. going to use the water that, that you yes. boil them in? Yes, because you're going to use this to blend on the cheese. Muy bien, just like sun-dried mm -hmm. tomatoes. Oh, this is mm -hmm. going to be great. So the next step is to toast the seeds? Yes, you have to toast them. Muy bien, I'll pass seeds. them to you. Yes, these are the seeds from the chiles that we took out. 
Now, next, okay. you want the sesame seeds? Yes, the sesame seeds. And I believe next is the, are yes, the spices. Yes, on right? the spices. Now, you don't, do you don't use lard or any water? No, or nothing, nothing. Why? Because you're going just to toast. Now, how long does this toast for? Just until the sesame seeds start to pop. Oh, you can actually hear yes, it. Oh, that's great. It, yes. Okay, it's ready now. Oh, that's great. It sounds super, like yes. popcorn. Right. Why not? Now, you pour the seeds and spices into a bowl, now that mm -hmm. they've been toasted. So you're going to cool them a little. Why not? To cool. Mm -hmm. What's the next step? Then we are going to put the tomatoes. Okay, so we have tomatoes and the garlic now. And the garlic. You don't need to peel the garlic? No, because actually I want them to cook. So if I peel it now, it's going to be brown. Oh, so you don't want it to be no. colored, just cooked? Yes, just Muy cooked. Bien. And how long does this take to cook? Until they're brown, the skin is brown. Okay, they're ready. I see, they look ready. Yes. Perfect. So now all we have to do is put them in another yes, bowl. Yes, in the bowl. Next up, we are going to use some lard, mm -hmm. and we are start frying the raisins and the almonds. And okay. Okay. And we're adding the raisins. Yes, please. The almonds. No, we are going to wait. Ah, so first, fry the raisins for about ten seconds. And then Remove them, the and then the almonds. Mm -hmm. Now the almonds. I, I anticipate everything okay. far too quickly. <laughs> so the plantain goes in next. I see you, you sliced it in the middle. Yes, I sliced in the middle. So you have two, three mm -hmm. slices. And that was about a half plantain that you yes, used in this case. And how long does this cook for? It's just until they are a little brown. Now the bread is added mm -hmm. to toast. To toast it. Mm -hmm. So everything's been toasted and roasted. And what's the next step, Anna Elena? Okay, we need to let them cool, and then we're going to blend them. Oh, perfect. Mm -hmm. And while these are cooling, I'm going to take advantage of the time and go to the Talavera factory. Great. And see how Thank it's you. all done. Okay, enjoy it. Gracias, ah. Huh? You're welcome. Nos vemos pronto. Okay. Ciao. You can't go to Puebla and not be struck by the dazzling handcrafted Talavera tiles for which the city is famous. Homes, churches, patios, and fountains all over the state sparkle and gleam in the bright Mexican sun. In fact, Puebla was the first city in New Spain to make these tiles back in the 16th century. It's a beautiful tradition, and I've come to see how it's done. Hello, how are you? Hi, thanks, Bill. This is Armando Rojas from Talavera Uriarte, and I cannot tell you how beautiful I think the tiles are. It is absolutely stupendous, incredible art form. Oh, thank you. Uh, would you like to have a tour to know the process? Oh, that would be wonderful. We can go see how it's made. It all starts with clay, shaped, then fired. Then comes the design, drawn, painted, glazed, and fired again. The results are spectacular. Talavera artisans are pottery masters who have studied the craft for a lifetime. Their work is precise and hands-on. Each piece is hand-turned and individually molded. After drawing for 8 to 12 weeks, the first firing heats the clay to an incredible 1,500 degrees. The secret is this extra coat of glaze, which gives them their brilliant shine and unique texture. Once they've been glazed, artisans brush patterned stencils onto the pieces. This will guide individual artists in the delicate work of painting. The task requires a fine eye, an innovative palette, and a steady hand. Would you like to try? Really? Yeah. I'd 
I'd love to try. Please. Right here? Right here. So what do I have to do? <laughs> Am I doing this right? Yes. This is a lot of fun. Talavera. The colors are vibrant. The details are delicate. They are truly the personal expressions of the individual artists. If only this one was mine. Up next on Entrada, Puebla's sacred glories. As promised, Roberto and I meet up again to visit some of the city's historic churches. This 17th century cathedral has been restored to its original splendor. It is the second largest in all of Mexico and very impressive indeed. Inside, the sun filters down from heaven to join the light of smoking candles. Especialmente vemos las bóvedas, cúpulas, las naves en sí, decoradas con cuadros. Shadows dance across the faces of saints. Gold leaf gleams. It's truly an overwhelming sight. But apparently this next stop is even more spectacular. Its walls are covered with tile, layered with gold leaf and crammed with sculptured figures. It even has a jeweled virgin, a priceless church artifact. Standing here, I can really feel the glory of New Spain at its height. I got the paint. I didn't do this one. Okay. <laughs> it was Thank beautiful. You. Yes, I know it's beautiful. Oh, it's fantastic. I see you've been busy again. Yes, a little. Muy bien. Okay. What are we doing now? Well, I'm going to, here are the chiles mm -hmm. with a liquid. I'm going to blend. In the old times, we used to use this. Wow, that look at that. Metate. Now that's and a rolling molcajete. pin. So that's yes. metate and this is molcajete. Molcajete, yes. And used to grind everything in this and yes, on and that. To, right. You know, but you don't do that anymore. No, sometimes <laughs> I use the molcajete, the molcajete, but not the metate. That's great. Yes. So now we are going to use the blender. Sounds good to me. Okay. So don't worry, you can make this traditional sauce by using a blender. Right. Okay. Mm -hmm. Place the mixture into a sizzling pot and stir occasionally. Bueno, the next step is to add the other three ingredients. Yes. And you're adding some chicken stock yes. here? Yes. Mm -hmm. Okay, that's good. Now the almonds? Yes, please. The tomatoes and garlic? Mm -hmm. And you've already peeled the garlic, I see. Yes. Busy, busy you have been. Mm -hmm. That's great. And? The raisins and the plantain. The raisins, the plantain, and, and the bread. So we use the bread to scoop into the blender. Perfect. The lid goes on. Okay. Et voilà. Now that it's all blended, it's time to add it to the chilies, which are happily cooking in this pot. Now look at these colors. Yes, amazing. Oh, Do you like? Beautiful. That's wonderful, huh? Yes. It's coming along quite nicely. Bueno, now here we go. This is now the ground spices. Help it out with a spoon. And at the same time, immediately afterwards, we're gonna add the sugar and the chocolate. Right, Anna? Yes, right. Perfect. It smells delicious. Mmm. Why not? Just throw it down. No? Yeah? Yes. And the whole piece of chocolate goes in like that. Yes. That's wonderful. You don't have to shave it or anything. Just put Nothing. the block of chocolate into the sauce. How long will this take to cook? Three hours. Three hours of mm -hmm. stirring. Yes. Now, so it simmers stir. at a low heat. 
Yes, and you have to steer. Now, on my left, I see that you've been a busy bee and, and uh, moved right along. Is this right. what it looks like after yes, three hours? Yes, this is the paste. The paste. Mm -hmm. And over here, in front of it, we have it liquefied. Yes. You how did some, you do that? Okay, you had some chicken stock. Ah, uh, the chicken stock, which you've gotten from the chicken, which right. has been boiled. This is great. I can't wait to eat. This is better than chocolate. Bueno, I'm going to go get ready for dinner. Okay. Again, I'll see you. Thank right. you so much. Up next on Entrada, a tequila toast to Puebla's bounty. Sí, gracias. Muy bien, gracias. Entonces, ¿cuál es la tradición? La tradición es que antes de comer el mole, Before we eat the mole, tienes que echarte un trago de tequila con un poco de limón y sal. ¿Ah, sí? Porque si no, la grasa del mole se te sube. Here's another chef's tip. Drink a little bit of tequila before you're about to eat the mole. Otherwise, the fat from the mole sauce will stay in your throat. Se te sube al cuello. Bueno, this way you just digest it. <laughs> <laughs> this looks Salud. delicious. Here are Salud. the recipes. Salud. 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 For Anna Elena's traditional mole poblano, first remove the seeds and stems from the chilies. Brown them in lard and soften in boiling water. Toast the seeds and spices. Brown the unpeeled garlic and tomatoes. In lard, fry raisins for about 10 seconds. Then toast almonds brown sliced plantain and toasted bread. Let ingredients cool. Next, blend the chilies. Place the mixture into a sizzling pot, stirring frequently. To chicken stock, add almonds, tomatoes, peeled garlic, raisins, plantain, and bread. Replace the lid. Blend the two mixtures. Add ground spices, sugar, and chocolate. Simmer on low heat for three hours, stirring occasionally. Add chicken stock to thin the paste, and serve over chicken, beef, or pork with soft corn tortillas. Take the tortilla. Take the tortilla. Entonces, toma un pedazo, oh, pedazo, se a dobla acá. All right. Oh. Hace esto. Oh, y like a little spoon. Después, haces esto. Y come. Oh, that is good. I see. Así se dice Dipping it all. Mmm. 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 Así. Así. Cuchara, a ver. Sí, sí, sí. Tortilla. <laughs> Helping hand. También así, mira. Mira. Gracias. Salud. Salud por el mole. Salud, Ana, qué bueno te quedó. Mm. 